as I was uh, preparing this homily, my mind went back to when I was a senior in high school. That's a long time ago. And, and that's when I began to go to daily mass. And I began to go to daily mass, uh, not for religious reasons, but I felt that I should drive my, my aunt Helen, uh, my aunt Helen. Well, she really was an aunt. She lived in Boston. So, so I, uh, she could drive, but she had a funny thing, that she only would make right turns. She felt it was too dangerous to make a left turn. Unfortunately, the parish church required a left turn. And so she would take about 10 right turns to finally get to the parish church. So I drove. And I still remember that daily going to Mass. And that daily going to Mass gave me a deeper appreciation of the Mass. And I wouldn't be surprised if maybe that uh, kind of strengthened my idea that uh, maybe I'd become a priest. So, uh, but back then, of course, it was a Latin Mass, which meant, of course, you didn't know that because you never heard the priest say anything. It was a silent Mass. And you didn't say anything would only be in your own heart when the host was lifted at the consecration that you would say to yourselves to the, and to the Lord, my, lo my Lord and my God. So it was a quiet mass and gave you plenty of time to think about the reality that was happening there. Now, of course, I think we're blessed to have the mass in English and to have the priest able to say the wonderful words of consecration and all, and everything else, the scripture, everything in English so that we can appreciate what is happening at the Mass. But uh, of course, that means there's a lot of noise. Other people are talking. The priest is talking. Other people are talking. We're talking. And so it can be that we don't pay as much attention as we should to uh, what the words mean that are being said, the deeper meaning of this mass that we are celebrating, that the Lord Jesus is here. Uh, one priest I was reading recently, he settled it all by saying, you don't have to use the word Eucharist. Eucharist is Jesus. So anytime you think of Eucharist, it's Jesus. And that's simple. So you're going to mass the Eucharist, you're going to Jesus that takes care of it. I think that might be a good idea for some people, but I think that uh, we need to think more about what Jesus is doing at the Mass, what Jesus is doing at this Mass that we're celebrating. And for me, key words for understanding the Mass, it's just two words, for you. Everything that's happening is for you. The most important part of the Mass is for you. This is my, the words that we, the priest says uh, on the part of Jesus. This is my body which will be given up for you. This is the chalice of my blood which will be poured out for you. So you might say, well, you know, Jesus was saying those words 2,000 years ago at the Last Supper to the apostles. No. The priest is representing Jesus. Jesus is saying those words to you and me today here in Green Bay. He, he knows each one of us, doesn't he? Jesus knows me. He knows each one of you. He knows the good things, the bad things. He knows the struggles. But he says in this Mass that this is his body which will be given up for me and for you. And his blood will be shed for me and for you. Jesus said those words 2,000 years ago to the apostles, and today 
here in Green Bay, he is saying those words to you and me, that this is all that happened 2,000 years ago is here for you. And so the words for you have a really important meaning in this Mass. But the action, so that's the words, but then there's the action that we take at communion. We go up to communion with outstretched hands. We don't go up to take something from Jesus. We go up with open hands to receive something from Jesus. And he gives us himself in our hands. How beautiful. Uh, the bishop a long time ago, 1600 years ago, wrote these words. In your cupped hands, talking to his people, in your cupped hands, receive the body of Christ, saying, Amen. In other words, they were doing 1,600 years ago, and in, in, it was in Cairo, what we're doing here in Green Bay today. In your cupped hands, receive the body of Christ, saying amen. With care, make your eyes blessed by looking at the holy body in your hands. And then eat it careful to lose not a crumb. Are you not going to watch with care this object more precious than gold or any diamond? That's what we receive. That is what we are given by Jesus in this mass. You know, sometimes I think uh, we feel that uh, going to mass, by going to mass, we do Jesus a favor. Sometimes we might think that, but you and I know that that really isn't the case because you and I, either at communion time or in adoration or during the mass, have felt our hearts touched by Jesus. And we've known at those moments that Jesus loves us, that Jesus is our friend, is with us always. It's at those moments we know that Jesus gives us the strength, gives us the strength even to change ourselves to be better people and even to try and change this community, this world to make it a better world. And all of this, we're not doing it as a favor. Jesus is giving us himself.